Greetings, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. They always do a duck. Okay, can we talk about that? Hello. Um, we need to talk, okay? Got me got a minute? Good. Good. Uh, sure. Uh, what if you don't have power source? As being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? I guess so. I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what may that be? The with you, Thank you. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? What it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? Nope. A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Mm hmm. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yeah. Yes, he was. Okay. How can I be of assistance? I'm in the mood for some entertainment, perhaps? Hey, Captain, what would you like to hear? Tell me, Jack. A neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a Rizzo's run and something? Leering, the bartender replies, for you, no charge. Oh, that's so cute. Play my favorite song, please. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Really? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Okay. That's enough, I guess. with all direct orders. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll go there. Then we may go for the ice plus. Yeah, let's stick with... No, I took Ellie with me, I think. No, I took Ellie and Felix, so it's okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. It's fine. Oh, now it wouldn't be fine. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, first of all, let's uh, look for the evidence. Some, oh my god. Whoop. Nope. God damn it. Never find myself around this place. Or most of those places. Good. Uh, Felix, do you want to see that? Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. We found evidence. I'm trying to tell myself Clyde's got some sensible explanation for all this, but I just don't know. None of this is making a lick of sense to me right now. I think we need to have a word with Clyde. Yep. That's what we are gonna do right now, but I think it's not gonna be pretty. What's the word? Mm, Tr Trask had a lot to say about you. Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Mm, Trask told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Actually, I do. Those papers don't prove it. Hmm. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this on that 
miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. When we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. I heard that a lot. I'm done arguing. Why would no? Why would Trask rat you out of your own employers? Sure what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. Yeah. What? I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. They're on us. Are we done? Oh, everyone's not trying to kill us. Oh, he exploded. Felix! Whoa. He went on a killing spree. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Okay, no, no, no. You know what? I'm going back to the unreliable. You can come with me if you want. I don't care. And we need to talk. Okay, where the hell is he? I definitely won that round. What the What did I tell you? Harlow's down with hmm. the man stick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. It's hard to know who to trust. And don't, also don't sound so excited. Not. And better for Felix to know that now rather than become the next trust. Yeah. Just because Hollow turned out to be crooked doesn't mean everyone was like that. Get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. That's it's true. Nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. Amen. <laughs> this is what I like about you. You may not be from here, but you fit right in. You're not helping the scientists because you think that crackpot will save the colony. I am. And here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Yeah. No, not really. Where are you, baby boy? Why is the engine room still open? Don't understand that. This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Yeah. Just going to have to come to terms with that. You know, you never really know what's going inside someone's head. I you really <laughs> I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Hmm. I can understand why you're upset. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. It'll pass. Give it just, just give it some time. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. Yeah. yeah you've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Maybe. Thanks for your time, boss. You're welcome. Yay! Okay. And here's another way down. Okay, that wasn't strange at all. Felix gained the self something. Self governed park. Okay, be right back. Okay, there's that. It's accepted. Let's give ourselves in the park. Yeah. 
because why not? And now let's go for the high RS one o eight four. Oh, that's nice. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Interesting. Okay, I don't remember who I was supposed to take with me. Oh. Oh, I'll take more companions with you to reduce your weight. Nice. So I'll take Sam and I'll take Max. That's because I like this combo. Now, what were we looking for here? Wait. Oh, the, no, wait. This one. Give me that one. Thank you. Okay, why is it brown? It's usually bright red. Oh, that might be why. Of course it's closed. Oh, it's nice and easy. What the hell? Wait, what? Shock cannon ultra, okay, give me that. Modify generator mode, normal. Okay. Maintenance log. Repair toilet. Hmm. Nothing else? No. Captain, Hello. I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. Yes. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. What's going on? A UTL vessel has been tracking our position. Of course. Docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. What do you want? been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of boards. But I'm in a sporting mood. Um, you're about to make an enemy of satellite. Trust me, you don't want that. Satellite? Ah, oh, I hate it when you outlaws organize. The paperwork for killing you would be the same <laughs> for me. Better luck next time. Don't apologize. This is my problem, not yours. Squad, I'm ordering a recall. There's a misspelling on our orders that ought to be corrected. On the double. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. That was rather impressive, Captain. Diplomacy at its finest. Thank you. Well, there's no one around here. Ow! So it doesn't really matter that this is a restricted area. It. <laughs> oh, give me that. What? Oh! What are you fighting with? Oh. What am I? Reputation decreased. Bart, of course it's Bart. Give me a second, I'll deal with that. Oh, god damn it. Eesh. Those, give me that. Messages. Okay, moral is low. What's the point in time? There was a princess who trained to be a soldier. Engage auto mechanical recharge protocols. Thank you. Should be okay now. Why is there are mines all over the place? Nope. I ordered them to recharge, so I guess we will have no problem with. Oh, security! Disengage checkpoint security. Thank you. 
personal files. Mama Bear? Kimbo came by asking if any of the dogs has had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet. Just ask Alpha. She walked off with a spring in her step. Okay, weird. Then she requisitioned the UDL Electro Float 3000 from my checkpoint and a crate of concussion mines. Yeah, I guess she didn't believe me. Is she bringing it for war? I guess she was. It is somewhere there, okay. Hmm. Of course, it's empty. This is sad. <laughs> this is really, really sad. I'll take that. What's that? Subject Dr. Charles McNulty. Current state of life, unstable condition. Subject should not be revived until a method for stabilizing his condition is found. Yeah, they really are recharging. Nice. And this one's? No, subject solutions that are make sure correct. Resuscitation devices are on hand upon arrival. Please hold, Claire. We almost had it this time. I swear I'll bring you back. Damn. And this one? Dr. James Gutrier. Subject will need extensive nuclear uh, resequencing for any chance of, of viable extraction. What have you been doing out here? Really? Oh. This, 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 this. Security retains. Unlock personal quarters. Security retains. Modify system access protocols. Insert sublight. Yeah. Okay. Return to root. Project summary. Messages. It has come to my attention that the culture of this trust has soured relations between Harris, 1084's research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal to the research staff. The importance of your work supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end end. No set end date. We can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on success mer mer metrics once the question of humanity displays in the Halcyon colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Trolley. Okay, Claire. James. Okay. Maybe you have something on on my uh, on your mind, perhaps. Let's see codex logs, big big ping. Mm -hmm. Oh no no, I want to go back to my ship. Can I go like that? God damn it! Okay, now. They're running again? No, they are not. Good. Let's get out of here then. Ada? Oh. Okay, I'll check on them. Really? What is that about? Hey, Max. Yeah. You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? I used to think that, but not anymore. Then, wait, why do you sound so calm? Aren't you getting annoyed? Not in the least. But I do apologize, Dr. Fenhill. It sounds like I have annoyed you. Fine, be that way. Okay, they're no longer 
arguing. Can we get back to Groundbreaker, Ada? Please? Captain, <sighs> oh, thank you. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Yeah, no wonder. Let's get back on the Groundbreaker, then we'll visit Finance's lab. Good. You're free to disembark. Good, good, good. Everything's good. Uh, yeah, like that. Oh my god, no. All the way. Oh, I'm going all the way again to her office. Yeah, okay. I'm getting to work. Don't get me wrong, I really like how they made it. I really appreciate that I don't have to, to steer our ship in the outer space. Really. I don't like steering ships. Now I, it looks to me that I'm always surrounded by robots because each one of my companions has full suit. Finally, base of yeah. our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Thank you. Oh, okay. The base had scientists in suspension tanks, so might still be alive. I about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage. I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Salvage. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the stations? And the uh, UDL gunship buzzed the station, but I convinced them to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest. I know. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. Kinda. Uh, but I'm listening. After the monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something no. none of us were meant to know. Mm, the truth about the human tailbone? I'm thinking more along the lines of the sapient species paradox. Okay, go on. Ask yourself. Why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Oh, uh, I think this is about the discovery of intelligent life. Hmm. I'm guessing you have an idea. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Sure. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Alien. No, not this one. Captain. It's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Captain, in my humble assessment, Miss Hagen is insane. You are too. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions. Yeah, a few. If we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Okay, when you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Okay, I joined something so I could do crimes. <laughs> God damn it, no. I haven't seen any evidence. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission to silence you? Okay, no, no. Tell, just tell me what needs to be done, Dr. please. Dr. Sheltrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. Now I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Yeah, I guess I will talk her out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
That sounds messy. Hmm, I'll but I'll take it up. Messy or merciless. Hey, do you care? This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. Yeah, maybe. By now the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartran says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Yeah, first of all, I'll collect all the evidence I can. Then I'll decide whether to kill her or not. Okay, but for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.